Good morning guys. So today's video is going to be the second part of my kind of try everything on and see what fits video. I do do a lot of these wardrobe clear outs because as a blogger there's a lot of things that come in and out of my room and it gets like I've always done them before and I've kept loads of stuff that I maybe haven't worn for a long time. So this time I've been really ruthless and I've gone through anything I haven't worn in over a year is gone. Anything that doesn't fit or I don't like how it looks on me is gone. Like I'm being brutal with myself and trying on everything and just getting rid of most of my wardrobe if I'm honest because it's stuff I've either never worn or I haven't worn in a really long time or I just don't like how it fits which there's no point keeping it if I don't like how it fits because I'm never gonna wear it. So this side of the wardrobe was done in the last video. If you wanna see that one, I'll leave a link down below because that one was a long video and I think it's quite a funny watch because I tried on everything and obviously it's the realization of like swimsuits that don't fit and all that kind of thing. But today is this wardrobe and I'm also gonna tackle this because this hasn't been done yet. And I've also got my cupboard downstairs, which has coats in, and I've got my gym collection, which I need to go through. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get that all in this video. If not, there will be a third part. I did actually clear out the back of it in the last video, so that's fine. But I filmed the last video about three weeks ago, or two weeks ago, and you guys have only seen it if, like maybe a week ago. So I did it a long time apart, but we're gonna see. I'm, I'm kind of already dreading it because I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be a bit of an, it's gonna be a hard task. But anyway, I'm drinking my little smoothie. I'm gonna pop on YouTube and watch someone else's videos for a bit and try and tackle this wardrobe. I also have like, honestly, I've got so many bits that I want to tackle and like fully go through because I'm such a like, not a hoarder, but I hold on to things and the thinking that I'll use them again and then I never do and then I don't know why I've kept them. So I'm being really ruthless and I've got bin bags and everything involved. So let's get started. So these are the hangy things that I was talking about. And I basically ordered two of them for like £10 each on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. But these are the ones that kind of hang and they're storage unit things. I got fairly small ones because I thought I can just put my shorts and stuff on them. And if they last five minutes, they last five minutes. They're probably going to like fall apart quite easily because they've got jeans on. But as long as they last me for a few months, then I can just kind of keep replacing because £10 isn't too bad. And to be honest, you can't really get a more substantial version of this without getting like a full on wood shelving unit or something. So I think they're just gonna be the best option for me for right now. So I'm gonna get going and try and get everything out and work it all out from there. I've just come across a whole pot of change and I think I need to go through this because I can see like 50 pound notes and I think this is from when we did the office. And I sold furniture and I just kind of kept the notes in a pot along with like all of my loose change. So basically whenever I find loose change around my room when I'm cleaning and like tidying, I just chuck it all in here. And I really need to take it to the bank and find out how much is in there because I reckon it's probably a few hundred quid, especially if there's like 50s and stuff. Oh my god it fits exactly how i hoped it would so obviously these cupboards are quite difficult where they are literally just a rail in a cupboard and there's not really much we can do with them because you can't fit furniture in because they're not deep enough like the slope is quite quite hard to do anything with so this is about the only solution we can have trust me i've tried over the years there's videos on my channel to prove that i've tried various solutions but this is basically the only way that I can think will work and I like that I have the little gap at the bottom as well because I can use that to put my little nail bits or something so like this is my gel nails and the little lamp which I can kind of just slot underneath and then I can still get to those. This is a situation, let me tell you, this is going to take me a long time to go through. I have realised though I chucked all my loungewear in here as well so that needs a home and I need to find something to sort that out which I think is going to go downstairs but I'm not 100% sure yet. So first things first, I think, I don't really know, but I think the best thing to do is to kind of put things into piles of what they are. So like denim shorts, shorts, trousers, jeans etc and then just chuck all the loungewear across the office for now because i'm gonna deal with that later this can all just go 
love the plant. Sorry, Sam. Oh, I've just took out the plant. So I do have a lot of denim shorts and stuff. And I'm one of these people who's definitely kept things. Like I never realized I did this, but I've kept things that are like from previous sizes. I'm gonna put denim skirts there. But I've kept things that maybe don't fit me anymore and like used to fit me a long time ago, but I'm hoping I get back into them at some point, like that kind of thing. And it's so damaging to do that because chances are, those things especially for me are kept from when I was like in my early 20s or my teens and my body shape was completely different because I hadn't grown into like my womanly figure yet and I think I'm never probably gonna fit into them again because I don't have those hips anymore or lack of hips shall we say but I've kept them and I definitely think it's time that those things went to a new home to someone who will fit them and I stop tormenting myself when I have half a wardrobe full of things that just don't fit me because it's something that I definitely need to accept. <laughs> I'm so not alone in it though because I remember like even growing up like my mum and my auntie and stuff and like even now will say that they have stuff in their wardrobe that's like it's a different size to what they are but they keep it because they hope they'll fit back into it but it's just one of those things isn't it we all do it and it's something I want to stop doing oh while I'm down here I've just seen this so I bought this a couple of weeks ago on a Instagram store and I'll leave it linked because it's called like the dreamers club or something it doesn't actually have a tag to say but it just says I'm nicer when I'm at Disney and I bought it for our Disney trip because I thought it'd be really cute with some denim shorts but they do it in loads of different colors and they've got loads of other types but I bought a medium and because I if I'm honest I didn't know what the sizing would be like also oh my goodness these are from when I used to work at Jack Wills and I used to wear these every single shift. Look how tiny they are. These are like a 25 inch waist and they are so small. Like these wouldn't even fit me now, I don't think. And I've worn them so much. Like I used to wear, I used to work three days a week and I wore these nearly every shift and you can even see the elastic is like gone in the back of them. But I wore these to death, literally to death. Like they have been worn to the point where they probably can't be worn anymore. Right guys, first task is to go through and work out what I know fits and then that is going to go straight into the cupboard I think and then we can do the try-ons of everything in one go so I'm going to start with my jeans so we have jeans that I know fit but they are huge so we'll give them a try on because I don't know if I'm going to want to keep them I've half and half that literally. So these are the ones that I know fit. There is four pairs and these are the maybes. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six pairs here. And then I'm getting rid of one. So that's already quite a substantial pile of things I need to try on and things that can go away. So let's work out where these can go. I'm thinking because jeans are quite heavy, let's put them on the bottom and then we can put like dark jeans in one and light jeans in the other maybe. So I can have like my blue and my whites in here. And then my dark blue and my black can go in there because I only have kind of one and one for now. So that's one shelf done. Six more to go. <laughs> Let's get trying on. <laughs> okay, similarly to the last video, I'm gonna go through and kind of try bits on. So this is the first pair of trousers that I've grabbed. I'm literally just working through 
this pile here and just going top to bottom but I probably won't give you a talk through of every single thing I'm just gonna talk through like the odd couple so this is the first pair which I've actually had since Venice last year and I love them this is what they look like properly on I'll get a picture of my Venice trip here but I really like them they are ever so slightly too tight on the waist but I do think that's partially because I'm a little bit bloated but they're honestly such a cool like just nice thing to have and they look really good if you just tie a little t-shirt or something these cord trousers i have such a love affair with i absolutely adore them and i love them in winter but i don't feel like when it gets to winter i wear them enough so i think i'm going to put them back in the cupboard and give them one last go this year and see if i do bring them out enough to justify keeping them because i honestly adore them these are quite old from top shops so they've got this little double button and then they're just like the nice style i honestly adore them so we're going to keep them in the cupboard and see if i wear them if i don't then these are going to be going on ebay later in the year but hopefully i wear them because i do really like them i think i just need to like style them better and just maybe roll them up one more chuck them with some boots and a nice jumper or something but they're gonna stay annoyingly can't link these because they've been sold out since i got them but i'll try and find similar if i can and if not then there won't be a link <laughs> these are so tight i don't know if you can quite see just how tight these are and how much they cut into me like oh my goodness okay i did not think these would fit these are suit shorts from, from asos last year and they actually fit me really nicely and they're like the perfect amount of give which i really like but they've got that just right little bit of space so i can eat a bit more they're really cute i love the length of them and they look really nice with like little espadrilles and stuff in summer yes because i did not think these would fit these are from last year's disney trip and i don't even think you can see like i struggled to do these up and i think i could wear them but they're gonna cut in and they're just gonna be really uncomfortable so i think these are going in the donate pile but i don't even know if you can tell how tight these are i've rolled them up really odd here so just ignore the fact that one is like a lot more rolled than the other but these are so tight and i don't know if it's from when i washed them but they're really tight and they're just really uncomfortable they're kind of digging into my ribs so i don't think i'd ever wear them again unless i lost loads of weight which i'm not planning on doing so I think these are going to go on eBay because they are beautiful shorts. These are Zara and they're so nice. They're just a bit too small now, but I really like these. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I've had this skirt from Under the Stories for a while and I love it, but I just think it looks a bit long on me. Like it looks really long, even though like it's not that long on my leg. I don't know what it is. It just looks really big. So I never wear it because of that reason. So I think I might get rid of this one because I just don't think I'm ever going to wear it. Hmm. Don't like these on at all. <laughs> this Topshop mini skirt I've had for years, look how tight it is on me now. It just, it, it's very much like shrink wrapped to my size and I don't think I can keep it. I've worn it so many times and I absolutely adore it, but it's just a bit too tight around my waist now and I don't think I could get away with something this tight and this short, like it's so short. So this is going to a new home. Keeping these. How annoying, I've missed a button when I was doing them up because they're like button front, but these are the ones that were in my recent Zara haul and I actually think I prefer the fit of these to the ones I just showed you, so I might keep these and get rid of the other ones from Abercrombie that I just showed because these fit a bit nicer. I also prefer the finishing on them and they were actually in my Zara haul literally like two weeks ago, but I'd put them in my cupboard. Haven't got around to wearing them yet, so I thought I'd try them on and just make sure that I want to keep them, but I definitely keeping these didn't think i would be but i really like them these balloon leg jeans from new look they're like a really nice brown color i've had them for a while and i wore them maybe twice and i actually really like them so i think i might get some really nice like black knitwear or something for winter and i'll be wearing these but obviously they're just not the most summery jeans ever although they could look quite cute actually with like a little cropped like if i tie up a black tee and then put them with my burks or something hmm did not think these would fit very surprised they do oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah okay for one these are about seven miles too long for me which is why they're turned up so much but i think i might cut them and like fray the hem and then i'll keep them because they are a really cute style jean and they're like what are they the levi i don't know what it says on the pocket i can't read it and they're really comfy i got them in an outlet for about 10 pounds and i love them but i think i just need to like cut the bottoms off actually do i love them or do they make me look a bit wider do i prefer my like wide fit jeans do you know what i'm going to try on my new look ones that i'm definitely keeping and see if i prefer those to these because i'm not sold on how they fit me here like they're almost a bit too tight and then too straight leg and i don't think i like that i think i prefer when they're like either tight all the way down or loose all the way down yeah i much prefer the fit of these i think these are nicer because they kind of go out from here so they make me look slimmer and the other ones just made me look a bit more wide so these are staying from new look okay for one i don't like the fit and for two i would literally only wear these in the disney parks once a year so i feel like these can probably go these are my 501s which I like the fit of looking at them 
But that being said, they're like, they're twisted for one, but they're really tight here, but they're really loose here. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of them because they just don't fit me proportionate wise. They're also getting massively stuck on my calves, which is just not a good sign. Damn it, I can't get out. If in doubt, do this. I didn't think I'd like the fit of these, but I actually do. I like that they're really kind of big and slouchy. And I actually bought these in a size up, so they are a bit big. But the reason being is because these are bias cut ones. So there's absolutely no stretch in them. And I tried on like three or four different sizes. And the size down from this was like way too tight. And these were a bit loose. So I thought rather be a bit loose and like movable than not be able to breathe in them. So I belt them and they fit fine and they look great with like any kind of knitwear on top. So I think I'm keeping these and I'm glad I tried them on to rediscover because otherwise I'd probably have just put them in the sale pile and really regretted it. I've still got the jeans on for now, but this is my piles of stuff that need to go away. And like you saw, there is a considerable pile of things that are now being sold because I just don't think I'm gonna wear them. And if there's something that I don't like the fit of, I'll try them on and then I'll take them off and chuck them back in the cupboard and then I'll be in the same situation in a few months. So rather just get rid of them and put them on eBay. But these ones need to go away now. So I'm gonna try and organize that cupboard and work out how best to put them on the shelves because obviously now there's more things going in. It might need a rejig. Okay, here's my final solution. So I've got dark denim, light denim with the addition of like blue because I've only got two and two and then three. So that just makes sense like that. Then I've got my lighter trousers, my darker trousers. So that's like my leather ones and that one and then like linen and stuff. Then I've got white denim shorts, blue and black denim shorts, which potentially might be split blue across the two because I've got one more pair of blue shorts that are in a pile of stuff from a haul video that I need to put in here. And then that is my shorts that are not denim. So that's like suit shorts or linen shorts, etc. And then that one is gonna be skirts when I eventually get some skirts because I do not have any and I don't really know how, but that's where they're gonna go when I do. New issue I didn't think I had. Where are these hangers gonna go? Because they're kind of just sat here and <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. Do I put them in a bag? Do I put them in a box? They don't really go here, so I don't know what to do. I did originally have them on top of a unit that was in here and they kind of just filled up the space, but they're excess hangers that I want to keep. I just don't know what to do with them. I don't know, we'll have to see. Some of them are actually gonna come out and go on here because I want to fill this up a little bit more with more of my everyday stuff, but that's not enough. Like that's too many hangers, so hmm. I'm thinking for now to just take them all out and then we can just kind of work out where to put them in a bit. So I'm just gonna stand them against my desk. We'll see, that's probably the best thing to do, isn't it? Just get them all out. I also think then I can kind of maneuver around my like blazers and stuff a bit more and see what's there because I think, I did a clear out in the last video of the blazers, but I think they're probably gonna need a bit more of a clear out. In fact, no, I do want to keep all of these. Actually, where did I put my other two? The two that I washed need to go back in. These are the two from the last video, including the linen one, which is actually on the rail. But these are the ones that the stain was on and I couldn't get the stain out, but it did come out and I ironed them, which I mean, I ironed them and then folded them up. So now they're just kind of a mess, but I'm gonna hang them in the wardrobe and hopefully the, the folding bits will come out. But all the stains came out, which is really good. And I didn't think they would. So now they are completely back to normal. They just need a bit of TLC with a steamer, I think. Also, another thing to note, my denim jackets and stuff are actually gonna be coming out of here and they're gonna be going downstairs in the cupboard. But what I need to do is clear out the downstairs cupboard of the coats, put the coats into vacuum bags for the summer and then put these out. And then what I'm gonna do is switch them back over for winter. But for now they're in here because they were annoying me hanging on the front of a cupboard. So I actually probably should get them out because this cupboard's basically done now, which means I need to go downstairs and tackle the coats which is gonna be a big experience because there's a lot of coats in that cupboard and I don't honestly know if they're gonna fit in a vacuum bag. And I also don't know where the vacuum bags are. So that's my first thing is to find the vacuum bags because <laughs> I can't do much and I don't know where they are. Okay, so this wardrobe basically houses mine and Sam's coats and it's not the biggest thing ever. It's a bit of a mess and I'm gonna vacuum pack all of my big winter coats and also clear out any ones that I haven't worn last year at all because I think if I don't wear them then I'm probably not going to wear them again and I'd rather just minimise so that next season I move forward and the coats that I've got are ones that I love 
and then I can like add in, for example, a black coat because I don't have a plain black coat. But mine start here, and they're literally that little bit there. Um, oh, flipping it. <laughs> so let's start getting them out because they need folding and they need getting off the hangers. So let's make our little. That actually needs to go back in because that is a summer coat. Right, I need to make a pile of ones that are going for eBay and a pile of ones that are going in vacuum bags. This is my most worn coat ever. I really want it in black because it's honestly the best coat ever. I nearly bought it in black this year and I didn't and I'm really annoyed at myself because it's just such a good coat. So that's definitely one that I need to get this year. I'm quite impressed at how many coats actually fit in the cupboard, especially considering some of them are fur. But I'm gonna quickly run downstairs because we have one hook bit at the bottom of the stairs that has four of my coats on, so I need to get those off. And I also know that one of those I'm selling and three need to go in storage. Right, now I'm gonna put all of the kind of more summer appropriate coats in here. So basically just denim jackets and that kind of thing and get rid of these hangers. I just cleared out my workout drawer for the first time in a really long time and we have yet another pile of things to go to charity shops and otherwise. I didn't realise I had this much stuff until I clear out and seeing how much stays and how much is leaving, I'm realising just how much I actually do have. I'm going to go upstairs and then I need to tackle my corner of the like loft cupboard because it's got all my stuff in that I need to really work through and like see what I need to keep and get rid of. It's got like random receipts and stuff to go in albums but I've never done the albums and I need to actually sit and do the albums. <laughs> so it's actually a little while later and I realized that I didn't finish the video. There's a little kid watching me vlog outside. And I realized that I didn't show you any more than like me sorting the coats out. So I thought I would show you what I ended up coming up with as a solution. So this is my half of the wardrobe now downstairs. So this is the only coats that are gonna be staying here. So we've just got my denim jacket. We've got some corded ones and like some check ones and stuff, but these are all very lightweight. And then you've got my leather one at the back. So basically the coats that I will be wearing in in the summer months that I maybe wouldn't need the kind of thicker coats and stuff for, which means that upstairs, let me go upstairs and I'll show you. In here, we have the coats at the back, but I had a bit of an issue in that the bigger bags, for some reason, there must be like a hole or something in them. So that one is basically just coats in a bag now, and I've actually ordered some more of these because that one we think has got a little hole in it. And then the top one, I haven't put completely down because there's a suede coat in it, and I don't want the suede to get ruined. So that's like my fur coats and my suede coat, which I figured they're kind of vacuum packed, they're in a bag, and that's probably the best way to not get them wrecked. So yeah, that's what I've ended up doing with the coats. And then the jumpers are there, which as you can see, they're in the same bags, but you can see the difference between the one that's not vacuum packed and the one that is. But yeah, they're just tucked away in the back of the cupboard now, which is great because it means that they're out the way and I can't see them. So now we have all the dresses and stuff in here and all the tops and everything. And then it carries on down that side. And then this one here behind the rail is the one that has the shoe hanging stuff in. Haven't got around to tackling this yet, so that's going to be a task for tomorrow. I need to sort out what shoes are on here. I need to sort out the jumpers. Sunglasses are in there, which need sorting. Belts and also the pile of loungewear, which is still sat on the floor waiting for me to do something with it. 